Hi there, welcome to The Beaten Trail. And in this episode, we're gonna show you the Insta360 camera and how to edit and how to film uh, and to really make your life easier when you're on the trail. So you know, when we first got it, you know, it, the cost was only about a little bit more than a GoPro would be. Uh, the battery was pretty decent. I, I'm, I'm impressed by that because really the GoPros don't last that long. We got a couple hours, I'd say about three, four hours on it. It does not come with memory, so you got to buy one, but a 256 is the max size you can put in here. They say it's waterproof. I'm certainly not going to test that out, but it should be splash proof and mud proof. So uh, the little door opens. It's got a USB-C for charging. Um, uh, basically, it's got the camera on either side. It's got four mics. Uh, I think uh, spare battery is reasonable at $29. And it's got a nice little, uh, nice little touch screen on the front. And uh, you can get some decent resolution with this. There's multiple modes available, so check it out. Uh, but you can film either from 360 view or just, you know, 180. I would highly recommend you always shoot at 360 because you're going to have amazing options from any direction when you're riding. So uh, really spend an hour to get this all set up. You got to get it on Wi-Fi, get it updated, connect it to your phone. You can edit on the iPhone. That's a separate beast. Uh, but we are going to do our editing today in Windows. So stay tuned. We're also going to have a surprise for you at the end of the video. Make sure you stay and check that out. Actually, two surprises. Um, really, we um, enjoy this uh, camera. And uh, I think that, you know, it's going to make everyone really look at their GoPro and say, why do I have a GoPro on the front and on the back? And, you know, there's still a place for GoPro. I'm definitely going to still keep my GoPros, but this just allows you to get, you know, 360 view in the, in the, in the cabin. And you're going to be able to, you know, have a little protection for extra. I think this was 20 bucks. We'll put a link up in the description. Uh, the lenses are very sensitive, so make sure you don't lay it down uh, and always, uh, you know, have a good mount. This is another one that we found on Amazon. It was a good uh, kit, came with multiple options. Put your uh, your smartphone or this up on the front. And this is what we use for this filming. So enjoy. So here is Insta360 Studio. And, uh, you know, once you get, uh, you fi do a file open and you get all your footage there, you click on the little globe and you're going to get these, um, all these images and these video rendered. So I just selected a small portion of this video highlighted in the yellow here. Uh, you also want to have free view selected up top, and you don't want to have your lock uh, view locked. Um, uh, so you want to have that so you can move it around. And as you'll see, you can use the mouse. You can also select if you have a tripod mount or what you want it to, you know, lens covers or whatnot. Um, but once you get into this, it, follow the tutorial. It only takes about five minutes to get the hang of it. You know, you can zoom around, move around with the mouse free in real time. Uh, and pretty much you put a keyframe down. And a keyframe is a means, a point of reference for the camera. And then you can, you know, continue play. You put another keyframe. And here I'm zooming in with the mouse. And so I don't, like here, I don't want to have um, this portion. Here's, here's what that footage would look like, all front zoomed in. And we're just going to go through the same footage in different views. And here we go by the blue barrel. Now, if we come back out, uh, say I want to zoom out a little bit, I want you to see, you know, maybe the front of the, uh, the windshield. I can zoom and it gives you a little wider angle. I can get myself in the shot if I want. Uh, but it, it's great because you can do this all after your ride. You have all this footage. No, no more of this GoPro face in the wrong way. So here's a wider angle sample for you. It's the same exact filming track at dark water. We come down and there's the blue barrel. So, you know, you go through and you put a key mark to each one of these spots and views. And as you do, it's going to re remember this. And then we're going to export it at the end. We'll show you. So here, uh, this is a little bit more of we're going to, you know, you can zoom in. You can uh, change the angle however you want. And what's great about this is you have an unlimited array of different views. Now here, maybe something happened behind me. You can just see the, the headlights behind me of somebody. But if I didn't have a dirty window, you can see through it. So you could see this uh, in real time, how it's going to look. 
So maybe a bear ran out on the trail or someone pulled up next to you or hit a tree. You can go back and catch that. That's what makes this so awesome. I think it's going to be really, uh, it's going to revolutionize uh, having, uh, you know, live footage to edit later. It's great. It's like IMAX. It's not that, not that great, but <laughs> it's not as big as IMAX, but it's like having a mini IMAX in your, in your pocket. Now, as you can see, you know, once we put this, uh, you know, you can have wide fish aisle, fish eye view. Uh, you know, it's kind of, kind of crazy to have this, but you can do some little planet view. And when you go ahead to export this file, um, you're just exporting that section. You're going to specify what resolution. And, and then this is finally what we put together. This is a combination of all the views we just made. You know, here we're going down the trail. You know, we move the camera a little bit. We want to see my reaction, you know, and then and then you get all this together and it really makes it easy for you to see what you want to see uh, and, and customize it. So this whole view just goes all the way through and, and it really helps. And I think in the long run, you're going to be really happy. So, you know, just again, you, you do you go ahead and you put these keyframes in and you can have a fish eye fish eye lens a front, a rear, and, and, and if you had the unit outside on a pole, you could kind of do the tiny planet thing. It would look better than this. But, you know, just for this example, it's it's really, it opens up all the views that you want. And, and I, you know, normally I'd have a GoPro on the front, I'd have a GoPro on the back, and, you know, the batteries have to change every hour or two, depending on the resolution, the temperature, and this was just so much easier. Um Again, uh, the lenses are delicate. You know, I had the uh, I had the uh, windshield up at this time, but just I, I, you know, once I got the hang of it, it was so fun. And I spent like maybe thirty minutes playing around with it. And now I can go back and I can change this and delete keyframes and say I just want full side view because something happened. And then when you export it, you know, uh, it, it takes a little while depending on the speed of your machine. But I found uh, really it's well worth it. And we're very excited. Coming soon, we have upgraded our drone, and she has tracking now. So we're really going to have a lot of fun doing some footage, tracking uh, the trail through the woods. Uh, so we're going to look forward to that, and we're going to show you an episode coming soon with just that. So in the meantime, do us a favor. Show us some love out on social media. And what we're going to do is, if you use the beaten trail hashtag... We're going to go out and see who uh, is posting pictures and shouting out to us. And we're going to pick a winner every month for uh, some free swag. We got a beaten trail hat. We got some stickers and we got some other stuff coming. So thanks again for your support. We hope to see you out there on the trail. And thanks for watching. <laughs>